All right, back here live on top of a hill here on Knickerbocker Road, just south of the airport here in San Angelo. Pretty good view here. We got some fields behind me. Twin Buttes off to my left. Got the airport in front of me as well. I can see downtown San Angelo as well. If I look way off in the distance, pretty nice view up here. And it feels good because we got that pretty good southerly wind here, keeping me a little bit cooler as well. It's a little bit hot down on ground elevation, but a little bit higher up. We got that nice breeze, nothing to block the breeze around here as well. So uh, looking pretty good, feeling good this morning. If you want to get outside, take a walk, take a run, do it now. It's going to be hot once again today. Not as hot though as it was yesterday or Monday. Speaking of yesterday, we reached another record high in San Angelo. Mathis Field, just literally off to my left here, about a half a mile, reached 110 degrees again for a second straight day. That's a new record high. The old record high was set back in 1933 of 109. So another day breaking records in the Concho Valley. Abilene, you reached 108. Not quite high enough to break a record of 109. Also set back in 1933. So no records for you, but it was just as hot across the big country. And uh, it's going to be hot once again today, but a little bit cooler. No 110 expected for your Wednesday. Let's take a look right now at downtown San Angelo. Looking good. Some clouds, especially off to the north. Even some shower activity, more on that north of Interstate 20. Uh, we'll have more on that in just a second. Temperatures starting off in the lower 80s. Winds pretty good out of the south this morning. And those dew points a little bit higher this morning back in the middle 60s. So that humidity a little bit higher than what we saw yesterday when we saw those dew points in the 30s and 40s. A little bit higher today, but still feeling pretty nice across the area. Temperatures ranging from the mid 70s to the mid 80s to start off your morning. Winds out of the south and southwest at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. A little bit breezy to start off your morning and that's going to be the case all day today. We had that pretty good southerly wind yesterday blowing that hot air in your face. Well, that's going to be the case once again today. Pretty good southerly wind uh, t throughout the day, starting southwesterly, eventually becoming southerly throughout the entire area later on today. Morning headlines, not as hot today, but uh, still hot. We have a heat advisory that replaced that excessive heat warning that we saw the past two days. That goes into effect at 2 p.m. Lasts until 8 p.m. That's the hottest part of the day. That's when you want to be careful if you have any outdoor plans or just stay inside with that air conditioning. Temperature slowly back off over the next several days, but uh, remaining hot. We remain with those triple digits through the end of the week, even into your coming weekend. A chance though that we see highs in the double digits as we get towards next week, so a little bit better, more average conditions coming as we get towards next week. Some uh, satellite and radar, some showers north of Interstate 20 up towards the Haskell, Aspronaut, Roby, At Anson area this morning. Most of us though are dry, and if you are seeing any activity, it's very light in nature. Zooming out, if you're south of Interstate 20, you're not seeing anything. Just some uh, passing cloud cover for your day or for your morning hours. Mainly sunny conditions expected the rest of the day. Highs today back above 100, anywhere between about 102 and 107. No 110s, but still hot. Make sure to take it easy and drink plenty of water if you have any plans outside, especially later on this afternoon. Much more Wake Up West Texas coming up after the break.